Do you want to be strong and lean or do you want to be weak? That's all up to you. And I guess you picked the strong part since you are here with me. So thank you for joining me for this session where we're going to do a warm up. Right after that, we're going to do a real Tabata. So we're going to work with a pulse exercise for 20 seconds, pushing it as hard as possible. 10 seconds for the next round. And we're going to do that for rate eight rounds all being four minutes and this is going to be a tabata where of course as a tabata is getting affected on your breathing so if you're out there finding a tabata called you heard that tabata is very effective and you you find a tabata where you're doing 20 seconds of squat 10 seconds rest it's not a real tabata it's just working with the same kind of interval with the 20 seconds on and 10 seconds rest you need to be short of breath you need to push you the hardest all depending on your fitness level enough of that after being doing the tabata we are going to move on for two blocks in each block we have four exercises the work frame is 45 seconds on and 15 seconds for the next exercise the four exercises we're going to do one after each other for the three rounds a short break and then we move on to block number two with four new exercises this is a full body workout shaking everything up with the tabata in the beginning moving on for the strength part and if you've been watching some and joining me for some of my other sessions here you know i like to shake it up for the high intensity resistance training where we mix the pulse and the strength exercises but also time sometimes it's good to do it separately so this is what it's all about so if you're not found of doing the tabata you can just scroll along and find where we're going to start with the strength part so you're going to bring an exercise mat a set of dumbbell my dumbbell is seven kilo each and that will be 15 pounds but as always pick a set of dumbbells where you can do the session with the best possible quality you can actually just scroll along and see what's all in the session and then you're ready to hit it hard with me i'm gonna guide you all the way through and i'm gonna give you modification as always so go and get your equipment let's do the warm-up the tabata and then the strength part itself welcome to workout by ac welcome let's go and do this one so bring your heels up towards your buttocks stay up in a straight position swinging your arms and let's keep it on here a little bit of a narrow position between your feet and opening up in your ankle joint we're going to put our arms up above shoulder level and bring them back again so engaging your muscle of your back chin is in chest is up and you have engaged your core pushing arms forward and back so still keep that leg moving up and you can go a little bit more slow if you need to in the beginning. So bring it in, that breathing and exhaling. And we're gonna put a heel in. So pushing toe up, pulling it up and in. We're gonna push arms out to the side and we're gonna do four, three, two and pushing to center, two, three, out to the side, four, three, two and in front yes we're gonna open up so bring it up to the side four three two knee in front up two out to the side four three two knee up bring it up and final one to the side two three and in center two three leaning back and kicking kicking like you are kicking a football so bring it up lean back a bit and swinging arms still for a final eight seven six four three two and stepping out for a squat bring it in and to opposite side equal amount on both legs so stepping out knees pointing and and our toes are following along so keep your shoulders back inhale bring it up two more on both sides and into center one more on each one and we're gonna stay in here we're gonna pull it back and forward so just stay a little bit here and bouncing in your knees bring your chest up chin is in pulling it back forward pulling it back for four and three and two 
and hands on right thigh bring it up center opposite chin is in and do that engagement in your core final over for each side four more four and coming over for three opposite side two more on each bring it up squeezing and final one over and in and over and in easing up so we are going to do that it's a better so my timer here is going to go for the 20 seconds the 10 seconds rest we are going to combine it with a jump squat so we're going to go jump squatting up and down and we're going to alternative with that with a plie squat so toes are pointing out so one round toes pointing forward one on each and in the end we have four of each round so you got to push it hard in those first four minutes and then we're going to move on for all strength exercises as explained in the beginning so try to put your mind into it the timer is going to count down with the 10 seconds and then we're ready to do the ordinary jump squat feet forward shoulders back and three 20 seconds work first round for this one let's go so bring it up and inhale if you still want to do the uh, the, the, the um, tabata keep on going for 10 more seconds you could always do as um, some of your favorite pulse exercises instead that was what i was about to say so bring it up toes pointing forward and we have a break so round number two, we're gonna open up, toes pointing out, knees follow along, shoulders back and still up in that straight position. Three, two, and one. So when you do this, you're gonna keep going. I'm guiding you, therefore I'm able to speak. So I'm not pushing it as hard as I, I can as I'm able to because I'm guiding you and pushing you but you should not be able to talk like me at all four more seconds you should be so effective on your breathing break here back for the ordinary jump squat so really getting short of breath maybe not in the two rounds but now we go bring it up and arms coming up inhale exhale and put your tempo and your speed into that you are getting short of breath this is what it's all about and you know we have four minutes and then you are done so we have five more seconds here you're lifting up pushing it back and a break knees out to the side let's get ready for the plie jump squat and when we've done this one we have halfway so bring it up up on your toes and lifting off still those arms going forward and back but back and up we go for a straight position let me hear you breathing hard and efficiently pushing it pushing it inhale and exhale three two and one half weight going for the straight feet for our next round four three two and one bring it up inhale exhale so before you know it you have completed this tabata it's some people say that it's just as effective as running for 30 or 40 minutes so if you push yourself hard enough you complete it in a lot more efficient time frame three two and one so open up again toes to the side shoulders down four seconds three let's get ready and up we go so close toes pointing out bring those arms back inhale exhale do remind you or else let me remind you you only have one of each leg the left the one with the straight feet and the one with the opening up so pushing yourself pushing it pushing for three two one and break yes so toes are pointing in front you should not be able to speak like me three two and one bring it up so you only have one round after this one pushing you the hardest as you can you should really feel that you are affected on your breathing right now seven seconds left and only 20 seconds left right after two and one so final one as i said if i did this all by myself i would put my mouth to closed yes let's go so besides of course keep your mouth a little bit open for the inhale and the exhale those fast ones 
you should really feel like you have if you have your hundred percent here you are up here about your 90 80 percent of what is maximum possible for you to do and it's you you feeling the way yes you did it hopefully i was able to talk you through this whoopsie so get some water and if you feel like you could have done that four more rounds then you know it for the next time that you do the session. Then you know you can push it a little bit harder. So that's all about experience and getting better. Done deal with the tough part and now we're moving on. Not that the next part not, it's not tough, but it's gonna be a, bit, a little bit different. Focus on the strength. So we're gonna start, bring your dumbbells. We're gonna start by sitting. We're gonna do a sitting biceps curl out to the side with our arms. So leaning back, arms in, bring your feet up if possible, else you just can put them down. And we're gonna do the biceps curl up and down for the 45 seconds and all strength exercises for the three rounds, just as block number two, all strength from now on. So leaning back, engaging your core, arms out to the side, shoulders back and let's hit it here for the 45 seconds, inhaling, and exhaling all the way down and please notice that my arms are in to the side so you keep your elbows in no bluffing with your arms just that nice tight grip bring your feet if not your feet your fingers a bit up towards your uh, arm so you have that straight position in your wrist and 15 more seconds inhaling in a few seconds we're going to turn around and do some glute kick with our dumbbell in our knee area so seven seconds feel it in your arms feel every single repetition yes put it away and we're gonna go in for a position here make sure you keep that tightness in your knee so you're gonna bring the dumbbell up and we're gonna stay up here and just a bit of a movement here two one and you don't want to go all the way down. You want to squeeze, you're going to lower your leg a little bit. So bring it up, squeezing slowly down again. So this is all about doing a hip extension so you get in touch with that glute area. And of course, we are going to go for another strength exercise and then we're going to move back to that opposite leg. So just one leg at a time here. Nose pointing down, 15 seconds left inhale exhale squeeze and engage your core bring it up slowly down three more seconds and down we go sitting back and we're gonna bring one dumbbell and we're gonna stay up with that dumbbell up here and we're gonna bring our knees up and down again for some ab work so leaning back arms up let's go up we go a little bit out to the side with your knees so you really feel it in the lower part of your abs so round it and of course you can go down here if the other exercise is too much but always ask yourself what is too much it's because i'm getting a little bit out of my comfort zone then you should convince yourself to keep going or maybe it's because you have a shoulder issue or a lower back issue of course you should do the modification 15 seconds straight arms up inhale and exhale knees to the side five seconds chin is in and here we are back in for that glute kick on opposite leg so make sure it's Good, safe position here. Go down on your forearms, just to ease up your upper body a bit. Yep, so up we go. Squeeze and keep that tightness in your core. Don't lean all the way over on your right leg. Try to stay in center by opening up between your elbows. So squeezing, lifting up. So don't go all the way down. Keep the dumbbell up. Keep it up near that hip extension part <sighs> squeezing lowering down and you're going to continue for another 14 seconds so feel that squeeze in your glute every time going for some upper body work for round number two in just 
five seconds, squeezing and back again. So we are gonna sit down for round number two, bring a dumbbell on in each hand, leaning back and if possible off with your feet for a little bit extra of a core work. Arms in and up again. So if it gets too much, you can either go single arm, but both best will be to put your feet down because we have some ab work as well in this session. Up we go, shoulders back. Lowering our dumbbells down. Bring it up and back again. Nice engagement, feel it every time. Squeezing and hold on for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Turn around, glute kick right leg. So the leg you started with in our first round, continuing with that and put that belly button up towards your spine. Three, two, and up we go. Kicking it up, squeezing. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> and try to get even amount of pressure on both arms. So don't lean all the way over to that left standing leg. You can rest your head on top of your hands. Eight seconds. And lowering down. Turn around. Dumbbell overhead, leaning back, bring knees up before we continue with opposite leg. So rolling down, engaging straight arms up and bring them up slowly down. Knees a bit out to the side and the modification, you can go all the way down here. And of course you can bring the dumbbell down. So as we put that dumbbell up, we know we are gonna engage our core a bit more. And chin is in, inhale and Exhale, 20 seconds. Feel your way for it. 10 more to go. Feel the app working. Chin is in and here we are. Opposite leg, dumbbell in and do a deflection in your Knee so you have a good tight position around that dumbbell. Good position between your elbows and up we go. So squeezing and as you push up, don't let go of that tightness around the dumbbell. Keep the movement upwards and a little bit down, up, down, up, but not all the way down. And when you move that dumbbell up, you should make sure that you stay steady in your lower back. For final 20 seconds, inhale, and we have one more round of each of these four exercises. And then you have weight. Still sweating maybe from the Tabata. And down we go. Yep, so we've got that glute in and we have the biceps curl sitting, final round. So leaning back, up we go, squeezing. Ah. Inhale and exhale. So no slacking in your wrist, keep that tight position. It's not just about getting through the workout, it's all about feeling what we're doing as well. Chin is in. Elbows in, final round, and we only have 10 seconds left. And 
and that's it. So come down on your arms, your hands and your, your arms and your knees, engaging, pushing navel up towards your spine. Three, two, and bring it up that right leg, final round. Exhale, inhale. Twenty two seconds. Up we go. Final round on right leg. Every single repetition is counting, so make sure that you feel it in a proper way. Five seconds. Yes. Sitting. One dumbbell. Ready to lean back. Five seconds. Straight arms up if it's possible. And here we are. So. Even though we have our arms up, we still have our shoulders down and away. So not lifting up your shoulders, bring them down. A good workout for your stability around your shoulder joint as well. You can always put it down here and keep moving. 14 seconds, final round on this one. We need, just need the glute kick with left leg. Then we have a short break and we have the final block. Two and beautiful. So dumbbell in, flexion and on your forearms. Seven seconds. Ready, three, two, and up we go. Final exercise, third round. Short break and pushing it upwards. And maybe you notice that your dumbbells are maybe a little bit too light. Then you wanna go and get some extra, or if it's possible, I don't know how, depending on how your dumbbell looks like, you might be able to put both in, or you can use a, a little bit late to say, but you can use a booty band as well. So get best possible resistance. Eight seconds. Two, and lowering that dumbbell down. Yep, a short break before we move on for our second block and the final one. So you're gonna get some water and uh, I hope you feel the need of a little bit of a break because else you need to bring heavier dumbbells. I'm gonna start out by doing some triceps overhead. Break arms up and into a straight position, back down again. If it bothers you doing it with both dumbbells, you can go of course with one dumbbell, either this way, boom, boom, or just this way. So you can do different kind of both weights and you can go up here doing it with this way. Just make sure you do the stretching in your elbow so you can keep the dumbbell here and go down here and up again. So we're gonna do that for the first exercise. Then we're gonna do some squat Super squat up on our toes here, dumbbells down in front of us. We're gonna do some shoulder open to shoulder press up, and we're gonna do some back extension to swimming with no dumbbells. So that's gonna be the final four exercises, boom, 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 one after each other for the three rounds. And then you've done a complete full body workout, and we are ready for the triceps over head extension. So bring dumbbells up. Bending and straightening your elbows, two and one. So we're gonna bring them up and slowly down again. So flexion in elbow, straightening up again. So a bit of stability work here as well. Engage your core. Bring it back and up again. 
keep those arms in and you can always go here and bring it up and down for another 10 seconds so you can modify it if your dumbbells are too heavy three two and one both dumbbells and we're gonna go down here and up on toes so let those dumbbells hang down shoulders are back chest is up toes out to the side and our knees the same way so up squeezing lowering down as we go down make sure you don't do keep going make sure you don't do this we want to start, try to stay up so don't, don't go straight down up and get that nice engagement in your glutes or maybe you want to go like this with your dumbbells if that fits you the best down slowly down squeezing up we go Either way, we have our shoulders back and we are ready to squeeze up on our way. Don't forget about your pelvic floor. Up we go. And here we are. Yes, gonna do the shoulder open to a press up. In with your arms, 90 degree in your elbows. And here we are. So open up center press it up down again open center press up down in hips keep moving up and back again so the fourth exercise we're not going to use it any dumbbells resting off so we have energy to complete this Final block, squeezing, open, inhale, and exhale, open up, yes. So ready to do the back extension and swimming. So we're gonna lift ourselves up four times and then we're gonna go for the swimming looking down so up we go four and three two and straight arms four three two and bring it back again four ah what fits you and arms up four three two squeezing your glutes 15 seconds. And eight more seconds. Yes. Back up for standing position. Do the triceps overhead. Second round. And shoulders are back. Four seconds. A good base here. Some. Uh, between your feet and we're gonna bring it up and slowly down. <sighs> Bending and stretching. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. And keep going all depending on the weight of your dumbbells back down if it is lack of quality you need to let go of that one dumbbell and continue the most important thing is that you feel it in your triceps five more seconds <sighs> up we go yep the sumo squat and up on our toes engaging our calf muscle as well shoulders back look after for your position two and butt back up we go butt back again squeeze don't let those shoulders come forward keep them back a nice engagement between your shoulder blades up 
we go. Block back. Dumbbells down. Seven seconds. And here we go. Shoulder open to press up. 10 seconds. Relaxing your hands. And bring the dumbbells up. And shoulder back and open to press up. Up we go, slowly down. And make sure when you do the opening up part, the rotation that is all working in your shoulders, so not your hands doing the, the job. 10 more seconds. Here we are, lying down, no dumbbells, back extension and swimming. And then we have one more round, so keep up the good attitude. So close, three, two, and up we go. And do the swimming. Three, four, back to the back extension. Swimming, swimming, straight arms, nose down. Ten more seconds. So close for three, two, and back up on our feet. Final round on each exercise, and then you've done it, becoming a little bit stronger than just before. Triceps ready to settle in, two and one. So squeezing up, bring them down up for extension. Flexion, extension. <sighs> Inhale as you go up, stay a little bit up here to feel that triceps. <sighs> yep, moving on at only 10 more seconds. Four seconds, final round here. Yep, and we did that one. Sumo squat up on toes, final round. Exercise number two out of four. So getting closer and closer to the finish line. Three, two, and here we are. Butt back, weight in front, pulling up. Chin is in and chest is up. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Twenty seconds. Bring those shoulders back and engage your glutes. Five seconds, one more, up we go. Shoulder, press up. A full body workout here, getting everything in, in approximately 30 minutes. Five seconds, two and open in and press it up. You can always use a little bit of assistance going down here, open up and bring it up as long as you just don't 
push your hip forward and back. So it's okay to get some of the push from your legs. 14 seconds, final exercise with the dumbbells. We have the back extension to the swimming. Three, two, and out to the side. Thank you, dumbbells, for making me a bit stronger. And 10 seconds left. Five seconds. And lifting up. Stay up and exhale. Inhale. Let's go. You know it. You are so close. And don't let me go here by myself. Bring it up and down again. Yes, excellent. We did it and get well wanted water. Three times double, you well wanted water. That was a new one. Thank you for joining me. So I hope you got something out of this workout. You can always come back and do it again. Sometimes it's good to repeat things so you know like kind of mental what is going to happen all the way through and then you can come back and do it again. Or else you can go ahead and find all different kind of workout session here. Sometimes it gets further down on pace three, four and five and so on. You can just go and you can look at the playlist. You can search for different kind of workouts like high intensity resistance training, high intensity interval training and so much more. So many sessions to choose between and maybe you want to stretch a foam roller session for some of the rest days then I have that as well for you. So everything you can just go and have a look. So uh, hit the subscribe button, put a like, put a comment and uh, I will be back to you and until I see you next time, you're gonna stay happy, you're gonna stay strong and you're gonna stay healthy. So take good care, bye.